Today we got a video. This is called "How High Quality Cricket Bats Are Made." That is going to be pretty dang interesting. And it looks like this guy's just chopping up a piece of wood. Yep. And I guess that's that's how bats used to be made. Um, is there a particular brand? For example, the Louisville Slugger has been the go-to bat in baseball for ages. Is there a go-to bat in cricket? Probably brand-wise. Um, because obviously and variations obviously in baseball there's variations on weight and length and it has uh, to be wood obviously right, yeah, metal, yeah. Can, you'd have only home runs <laughs> and you'd kill people yeah if you can imagine Giancarlo Stanton or Aaron Judge or <laughs> Shohei Otani hitting with an aluminum bat it'd kill people in the infield Be players would die yeah <laughs> you'd have velocities of 150 coming off the bat yeah <laughs> oh. be absolutely insane yeah that's why that's why they use aluminum it's weird they use it in college still, because there's some guys that are still cranking it. Uh, but once you leave college and you enter the pros, even in the minor leagues, there's no more aluminum bats. So this is going to be intriguing. I'm I'm very interested. Never seen anything about this no. at all. Have you? Looks like no. Looks yeah. like hands on too. Um, here we go. Huh. <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a video. Whoa, and they stack them like that. It looks like pallets. That's just a starting wood, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's not finished. Those are just. Okay. Yeah. Or maybe those. Look... that's the excess stuff that they sell, maybe for pyres. No gloves. No goggles. That guy has some. No, those are glasses he's just wearing to see better. That's better than nothing. Yeah. Is the saw still going right now? <laughs> I don't see any pedal to step on to make it stop. No, that thing's just perpetually buzzing. Woo-wee, brother! <laughs> he probably has... He doesn't have any kind of a feeder with that thing. It's just the fingers. Ow, mama! He probably has been doing this for 30 years. Oh, mommy. Wow. He's clearly done well. He has all of his fingers. It's like a mom that just touches the oil. That's it must smell amazing in all there. All the wood. All the wood getting cut. Why is it so thin, though? I don't know why it wins. I don't know. It's so strange. Maybe there was a song playing in the back. Uh, maybe, yeah. That wouldn't. That's actually what I bet. So maybe somebody was playing something. <laughs> what are they making? Because it's too small to be the. Is that just the that's handle? The, I think that's the handle. That it looked like they insert. Really. I thought it was all made from one piece. Yeah. My goodness, he's just doing that based on. Oh, uh, he's been doing this for sight. Twenty years, probably. That took him five seconds. Okay, so this is the... Uh, I'm guessing they have to use a specific type of wood. Type of wood, absolutely. Like a birch. Obviously, it needs to be a specific link. Oh, he's got some goggles up there. <laughs> he's just not wearing them. And actually, I think they're just sunglasses.
I know there's a precision to this, but it looks so random right now. Kind of, I kind of wish we had a A, B, C, D, E, F, G in the process so we knew what was being made. Well, this, they're making the bat. That's yep. clearly now the, the bat part. But again, it looks, it's just being done by sight. He, wow. That's obviously the insert. Yeah, the insert. I thought it was created he, from one piece. He literally I know. did that by sight. By sight. That's impressive, actually. Wow. Learn a trade, kids. I am utterly flabbergasted that this is just being done by visual precision and memory. Wow. Are you kidding me? It's probably to the exact specification. I am astonished. Wow. So what do you do? Do you glue it or? Clearly there'll be some sanding. Here's what I did by sight. Sander. I'm guessing that last part was the sander. That's how they get it to that. Right. But they didn't show the glue part. No. Because I'm getting. And this is, I get. I'm presuming this is a kind of lacquer. Yeah. Primer, maybe. I don't know. Or a sealant. Yeah. And are these are these the kinds of bats that are made just for the general public to get versus the ones that are specifically made for, for professional those, for the, sports? Usually those or is it the same. Usually those are like incredibly specific. I would expect. I mean, they're putting on the labels of brands. I I'm genuinely amazed. Does anybody make their own in the same way that surfers can make their own surfboards? I bet they do. Mm. And they're expensive. I mean, at least here they're expensive, man, because like when we, um, <laughs> He's literally Batman. When we uh, when we were playing cricket early on in the channel, when we went to uh, see if we could at the park at the park, yeah, um, there was people playing cricket uh, and people selling, and mm -hmm. I looked, it was like two hundred something dollars for a bat. For a bat? Um, wow, that's pricey. Yeah, and so I'm I'm guessing in India they're probably, it's lumber. <laughs> lumber is really expensive, obviously, right now, especially yeah. right now. Yeah, but to do and. 
Okay. You guys can tell us if this is just a somebody that's just selling it to the general public, and I'm guessing for professionals, because like in baseball, they need to be a certain thing, like it the, by specific. by the rule of the league. Yes, they need to be. I mean, and you can have your specific like certain b- batsmen like certain. Absolutely. Bats, but they, they all need to be specified to specific requirements yes. by the league. And and each player has their own bats made by the league. So specifically, they can... And some players... Tony Gwynn used to do this all the time. He would give away bats. And their, their names are burned into the bat. And it's to their specific weight, size that they like to hit with. But it has to fall within the regulations of the league, and it's very, very specific. I'm assuming it's the same because most leagues are like that. I would assume it Soccer is. Soccer balls need to be certain. And, that, and, yeah. and similarly, <clears throat> you can go to Big Five Sporting Goods and you can buy some baseball bats, and they're going to be a Louisville Slugger, but they're not necessarily going to be Major League Baseball standard. Same thing with baseballs. You can buy baseballs that are great. You might not even tell the difference, but they're not official Major League Baseballs. Those have a very specific number of stitches, weight, leather that's used. And we've talked about there's only one family anywhere in the world that has the kind of clay that they use to prep them for on-field usage. So I'm really, uh, irrespective of whether or not, it would be even more mind-boggling to me that this is also acceptable in IPL or any of the other leagues, that that was all done by just I. Yeah, it was insane. I, I, the amount of precision they have is, is really insane. Um, do, who is the... I got told this story when I was very young by my uncle. Maybe he was lying. Who knows? In basketball, like, cause, cause these players, maybe it was Kobe, maybe it was Michael, who knows. But um, he, they know they know the game so well. When he was practicing his warm-ups... He was shooting, and he, he, something was off, and then he went over to the mm-hmm. ref or something. He's like, "That the the ball is off." Or no, the the, rim. the hoop is like an inch off. Oh, not a surprise. I, I forget who it was. Yeah, but it was some legend like that. And he was like, "No, it's not." And, and they checked, and it was like, "Yeah, it was an it was an inch off." <laughs> yeah, I, I saw a recent video of um, what's his name from Golden State, extraordinary, yeah, yeah, yeah. crazy man. Yeah. Um, can't believe I'm blanking on his name Steph. right now. Steph Curry. Yeah. And. He's dribbling, <laughs> and the ball, it dribbled, and it kind of bounced to the left, and he let it go, and he checked the floor because when you're that good, the only reason you would miss your dribble is it's not something wrong with you. There's something wrong with the floor. Yeah? Yeah. Now they know they, like, just like people in cricket, I'm sure, right? They know that sport, the ball, the game, like the back of their hand. Yeah, and I wonder also, you can tell us, are there stories you know of in cricket where where any players have tried to fudge the system? It's happened in baseball. <sighs> the old pine tar incident with George Brett way back in, the, I think, the Didn't 1980s. Didn't something just happen? Something just happened last night. Scherzer. Yeah. Scherzer was pitching. He's on the Mets, and he was yeah. pitching against the Dodgers. Yeah. And the umps kept checking his hand. Yeah. And he said, all I have on there is rosin and sweat. And rosin is basically a chalk. They have a rosin bag behind the mound to keep their hands dry. No freaking way. And I saw Scherzer in the dugout with a trainer. They were putting tape on his hand, his glove hand. Granted, it's not his throwing hand, but still, if you have anything sticky on the glove hand, you can move that to this hand. He was saying on his kid's life, it was just rosin and and sweat. There's no way you're going to get that sticky because the ump said it's one of the stickiest feelings I felt on a pitcher's hand ever. So Scherzer was ejected. And if the league decides... That was a sticky substance. He'll be suspended for ten games automatically for doing that. Because mm-hmm. you're not. That's why we've we've marveled over the fact that in cricket you not only can mess with the ball, you want a messed up ball. It's to the bowler's advantage that the ball gets all yeah. screwed up. But in baseball, you cannot mess with the ball. No. No. And how do they prove? Like, does I'm assuming because if you let him go to the back. And he could wash his hand off. and Which he had or, that opportunity or, or to do. Or is there a league person that immediately comes in, they swab it to see what it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they had somebody test it. And it was the second time he had been called on it before and he had to change his glove. And he was supposed to probably go wash his hand. It's just, it's absurd. And more than like, it was like George Brett freaking out that they disqualified his home run. And the reason they did... He, his pine tar was up too high on the bat. Pine tar is a sticky substance. It's the tar from a pine tree that allows you to keep your hands gripped to the bat. And a lot of batters, there's a, there's a rule in the league as to how high up the bat it can go. It's only supposed to be on your handle. And um, that had, he had put it, most of the time on those kinds of things, 
what's the, the umps are, they're going to get it right. Scherzer, Scherzer screwed up. <laughs> I don't know that I would say they get it right because we've seen famously. I'm talking about guys those like, kinds of things. Huh, no. It. You're out of yeah. here! Fragile little M- fuck. Most of the time in those situations, I, but. Uh, I hate umps. I don't. I hate them. I don't. I love the umps. I think they are power. Like, they, there's way too much. They piss me off sometimes. There's way too much power given to umps. Way too much. I think there's way too much power given to a lot of refs. Because, like, in oh, in NFL, it makes me so upset. when. Oh, that's a whole other ballgame. We have literally instant replay. Literally. Like, it happened in the Falcons game last year. It's Tom Brady. It was a perfect sack. He didn't fall on him. He didn't push him to the ground. It was ta- it was a textbook. He got him, wrapped him up, and he rolled to the ground. If, it was text. If there's book. any sport that screws it up the most, it's the NFL. Text book. No, like nobody, nobody even questions. And that the, it was a perfect. And the set. announcers are saying, "I don't agree with that call." Yeah, I don't agree with that call and, at all. And they were like, "Yeah," and that changed the game, and we, and we lost. Can can. NFL teams do what Major League Baseball teams can do because a manager of a team can play a game under protest. Hmm. If a manager does not like a call so strongly, the manager can say we're playing under protest. And if it turns out that that call changed the outcome of the game to that team's detriment, the league will review it. And if the league deems that the manager was right and the ump was wrong, that game will be nullified and they'll have to play a makeup Ugh, game. I wish. Yeah, they do that in Major League Baseball. Ugh, I wish. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Uh, but no. But anyways, uh, cool video. Uh, let that us was amazing. know uh, any information about it. If there's other videos that can explain it even more about the actual league yeah. itself, please let us know what those are down below. Just-